So, in other Orwellian news, we have a great story to bring to you. 45 senators support bill that makes boycotting Israel a crime. Now, initially, the story was broke by Glenn Greenwald of The Intercept. However, that's a really long article, so if you want to read that one, I'll link it in the description below. Just check this one out. A bill that would criminalize boycotts against Israel has been signed by 45 senators and 237 congressmen. The so-called Israel Anti-Boycott Act would impose fines of up to $250,000 on any U.S. citizen engaged in interstate or foreign commerce who supports a boycott of Israeli goods and services. The U.S. has long defended Israel in territorial disputes in the Middle East, even as the Israeli military has expanded into areas assigned to the Palestinians by international law. So, if you don't know the whole history of Israel-Palestine, I'll break it down in a very, very short, simple, oversimplified way. Um, Basically, the Ottoman Empire ruled the area that is now Israel-Palestine until World War I, after which the British took over. And then the British, after World War II, they were like, alright, this colony isn't really doing great for us. And at the same time, you have the Zionist Jews, which are a... Which is a, a belief. Zionism is a belief in nationalism for Jewish people. So basically, like, they think that they deserve their own state and that they're entitled to their own state. And that state would be in their holy land of Israel. So after the British gave up control of the colonies, then you had the Palestinians and the Israelites fighting over this land, even though it was divvied up in 1967 um, along these strange borders. It didn't really make sense, but basically, over the time that Britain relinquished the control of Palestine to, you know, the UN, you've had Israelites pushing into Palestinian territory, building settlements, and occupying their land and that's illegal you can't just go into another sovereign state and take their shit but the way that israel sees it is they don't even acknowledge um pakistan or pakistan palestine as their own state so in their view they're just in the way so In their new legislation, members of Congress claim the UN is considering a resolution to withhold assistance from and prevent trade with settlements in East Jerusalem, the West Bank, and Golan Heights. Now, these are all areas that the Palestinians had land grabbed from by Israelis. So that's why these boycotts in these areas, which are part of the BDS movement, boycotts, divestments, and sanctions to quell Israeli aggression towards Palestinians and this is the result America says you can't do that no you can't even protest the fact that Palestine is getting invaded by Israelis I mean if you look at a map of Palestinian controlled territory now versus what they're supposed to have via the 1967 borders I mean it's it's like looking at a satellite picture of from space, you know, where you can see like all the cities that are lit up and how in the US, you know, the East Coast will be lit up and then you look at somewhere like Africa and there's just little specks. And that's what it's like. I mean, it's like they've had almost all their land seized from them. And then when they push back just a little bit, I mean, and I'm not for violence, obviously, no, but when you have people constantly attacking you, stealing your land, killing your family members, what are you going to do? You're going to hate them. You're going to despise them, detest them. So as a result, Hamas, the terrorist group, rose out of the Palestinian citizens. And they've launched a few attacks. I think they were the first ones to actually use suicide bombs in their attacks um, to try to get away from or to try to, you know, make a statement to the Israelis that we're not having this shit, and I'm not saying that's okay, and terrorists, especially in any religious sense, is 
terrorism at all. It's just fucking stupid. It doesn't make sense. But you can see how it came as a result of it. And Hamas is nothing like the Israeli government, which has nukes and fighter jets and, I mean, everything that the U.S. could give to them because they're such a close ally. And what this legislation is trying to do is make it a thought crime, some really Orwellian shit. You're not even allowed to agree or protest these boycotts. Or you could face $250,000 in fines and get a felony and see prison. You can get up to a million dollars, according to Glenn Greenwald. Now, the people who wrote this legislation are called APEC. And what they do is write legislation for senators basically to tack their names onto so they don't have to do the groundwork, the busy work. And these corporations or, you know, entities that create legislation like APEC and ALEC, they, you know, obviously will work for some of their own benefits and slip some provisions in there that unless you go through with a a fine-tooth comb, you're not going to see everything. So apparently, according to Glenn Greenwald, the, the actual penalty that would result from protesting these boy or supporting these boycotts, I guess, comes from like an old law that made it illegal to do so under another like weird kind of something very similar. I can't remember the name of it, but it was like in Afghanistan, some similar boycott. And this is such an obvious violation of free speech. I mean, political speech is protected. Hate speech is protected. Um, religious speech is protected. Any speech other than speech that directly threatens to harm somebody, like terroristic threats, is fair game. In our government, we have 43 senators, some Republicans, 14 of them are Democrats, 14 Democrats signed on to this. And you want to know who they are? I think you deserve to know. Chuck Schumer, Kristen Gillibrand, and I don't have them all here. This is from the Intercept article. Um, Ron Weidman, Richard Blumenthal, Maria Cantwell, and that's all that they have right here. But additional supporters are Ted Cruz of Texas, Ben Sass of Nebraska, Ben fucking Sass, and Marco Rubio of Florida. So this is such an obvious way of the U.S. trying to stand up for our huge ally and any kind of boycotts or judgments or sanctions put on them are going to hurt our interests, at least according to politicians in Washington. And they're willing to make it a fucking thought crime, just about. You post something on Facebook about Israelis needing to calm the fuck down about expanding into Palestinian territory, and you think that these boycotts are merited, you could you could be charged with a felony up to a million dollars and an unlimited amount of jail time. I mean, there's, there's no reason why this is okay. So, if any of these people are your representatives or you just want to let them have a piece of your mind and tell them that this isn't okay and we're not going to stand for this shit call them email them harass them i don't give a fuck obviously don't do anything crazy we we already covered the part of speech that isn't protected under the constitution so let's not go that far but we gotta let them know this is not okay well anyways if you like what i do please like comment subscribe You know the rest, and I'll see you fuckers later. Peace out.